Hello, welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill. This is morning prayer for Thursday after Ash Wednesday, March the 10th, 2011. The scripture for this service, Psalm 37, verse 1 to 18. Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 15 to 20. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Yahweh will grant your heart's desire. Psalm 37. Do not fret because of the wicked, and do not envy those who do evil. For they wither quickly like grass, and fade like the green of the fields. If you trust in Yahweh and do good, then you will live in the land and be secure. If you find your delight in Yahweh, God will grant your heart's desire. Commit your life to Yahweh, be confident, and God will act so that your justice breaks forth like the light, and your cause like the noonday sun. Be still, and wait in patience. Do not fret at those who prosper, those who make evil plots to bring down the needy and the poor. Calm your anger and forget your rage. Do not fret. It only leads to evil. For those who do evil shall perish, and those waiting for Yahweh shall inherit the land. A little longer and the wicked will have gone. Look at their homes, they are not there. But the humble shall own the land and enjoy the fullness of peace. The wicked make plots against the just and gnash their teeth against them. But Yahweh laughs at the wicked, knowing that their day is at hand. The sword of the wicked is drawn and the bow bent to slaughter the upright. Their sword shall pierce their own hearts and their Bows shall be broken to pieces. The few things owned by the just are better than the wealth of the wicked, for the power of the wicked shall be broken, and Yahweh will support the just. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Yahweh will grant your heart's desire. The lesson is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, beginning at verse 15. See, I have set before you today life and prosperity, death and adversity. If you obey the commandments of Yahweh your God that I am commanding you today, by loving Yahweh your God, walking in his ways, and observing his commandments, decrees, and ordinances, then you shall live and become numerous, and Yahweh your God will bless you in the land that you are entering to possess. But if your heart turns away and you do not hear, but are led astray to bow down to other gods and to serve them, I declare to you today that you shall perish. You shall not live long in the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and possess. I call heaven and earth to witness against you today that I have set before you life and death, blessings and curses. Choose life so that you and your descendants may live, loving Yahweh your God, obeying him and holding fast to him. For that means life to you and length of days, so that you may live in the land that Yahweh swore to give to your ancestors, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for God's people throughout the world, for Joe and Tom and Alan and for all of our church leaders, for this gathering, for all ministers and all people, for peace in Jerusalem and in the whole world, for goodwill among nations, for the well-being of all people, for justice and peace, for the poor and the unemployed, especially James, Bill, Robert, and Brian, for the sick, especially for Steve and Michael, for a cure for cancer, for the hungry, the oppressed, those in prison, for those in any need or trouble, for the elderly and the infirm, especially for Marjorie, for the grief-stricken, especially for Dan and Joe, for all who seek God or a deeper, do deeper knowledge of God, that they may find and be found by God especially Joseph Gerald, Thomas Bonaventure, Donna Allen, Ron Francis, James Bernard, Peter Christopher, Stephen Luke, 
William John, Donald Columba, Max Bartholomew, Todd Dunstan, Brian Daniel, Raymond Patrick, Richard Robert, Stephen Michael, William Irwin, and Brian Brendan, and all the Mercy of God associates. I ask your prayers for the departed, for all those who have died, for the Mercy of God community that it may continue to rush toward Christ, that God who has begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment, for the intentions of all who have asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name, your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us pray. Direct us, O God, in all our doings with your most gracious favor, and further us with your continual help, that in all our works begun, continued, and ended in you, we may glorify your holy name, and finally by your mercy obtain everlasting life through Jesus Christ God, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen.